As you guys said, rising to use uh, the flame staff, which yeah, apparently is probably a better idea. Uh, I gotta figure out how to do that again. I wonder if casting if cast fire if it uses magic or not. I guess it doesn't matter, but. Oh, it's free magic. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. And it's been a while. I'm sure we could have done this in Final Fantasy 2 as well, but it wasn't really necessary. Alright. I love a good preemptive strike. I thought there was. Maybe not. I didn't look into it, to be fair. All right, where, where are we here? Living Woods. Oh. Hello? The mage who changed the Elder Tree into a wandering creature can change its weakness. One who can see through his deception may be able to defeat him. It can change his weakness, huh? These woods are alive. The Elder Tree of these woods is cursed and carved into the shape of a monstrous castle. Now it wanders the desert aimlessly. You must help. Have you heard of Hein? He uses the barrier shift spell to change his weakness. Without the other tree, these woods will soon perish. Our home, our friends with the tr our friends the trees will wither away. I hear the cries of the woods. They weep for the elder tree that has made these woods its home for ten thousand years. But that great tree is caught is cursed by a despicable mage and left the woods behind. Hein, the royal advisor of Castle Argus, is the one who cursed the elder tree. Okay. We are the fairies who inhabit these woods. It's always like the advisor, the vizier. It's always the, it's always how it goes. Okay, so. You have a good class. I hope you don't have too much homework. Have a good D&D session. If uh, we don't see you back. And never study, always vibe. Excuse me. All right, so we found whatever this place is called. Whatever they want to call this place. Living Woods, yeah. Can we go up the... Oops. I didn't want to go back into the woods. Can we go up the waterfall? No. I guess that makes sense. All right, so we learned that the mage who did this was the royal advisor to the king of Argus. His name is Hein. He can change the weakness of the tree. Uh, you know, whatever that ends up doing for us. Zeus's Wrath. I assume that casts lightning. Alright, so now we need to take the boat up to Castle Argus and go elsewhere. So Menopod, how clo am I close to catching up to you, or did you get yourself really far ahead? things going on in here but let's I guess go this way okay we have another we have a cave we have a wood circle more chocobo woods okay apparently there's a couple of those a cave. Oh, there's something swimming in that lake. Alright, well that's probably 
hazardous to my health. But for now, Golgan Gulch. Okay, oh, didn't he mention that? Or Silas Rays, they never leave their gulch. I wonder if they can tell the future. Okay, so this is that place. Oh. Hello? Am I interrupting? This is Golgan Gulch. You should know that we Golgans are born Silas. However, we make up for our lack of vision with a sixth sense. Some of our kind can even see to the future. We serve the Wind Crystal, a source of light and whose power has been bestowed upon you. Henceforth, you must go to the crystals of fire, water, and earth. They will grant you great powers that you, greater powers than you already possess. The Great Earthquake was only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystal sources of the world's light were swelled into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasms now scarring the earth. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. I see a future of both light and darkness, but this is by no means set in stone. The living woods, the sentient forest, calls to you. We went there already. I see a future full of light and darkness. We stay sequestered away in this gulch, for those who know the future should not dare influence fate. When crimson flames threaten the tower's destruction, he who alters fate's course will awaken to his destiny. I sense the fire crystal's power centered on the island of the dwarves. Island, huh? Uh, okay, so that must be up here. This must be the island he's talking about. Which, unfortunately, we cannot get to until we take care of this typhoon or storm that's in the water right now. The Earth's power sealed away the three other sources of flight. The Earth crystal maybe have sealed in a similar fashion. Oh, the only thing you really miss is I'm talking to- I'm at this gulch, and I was wondering how- if I'm catching up to you, like how far ahead you are, or if you managed to, like, really power through this game and you- I still got some, uh, ground to cover. I've been expecting you. Take this spell and use it to enter the Tower of Owen to the north. Your destiny awaits you there, Dash. Received Toad. Okay. This is what we need. This is a breakthrough. We now know where to go. Sure. Learn Toad. I don't like that my, uh, Level two spells are kind of occupied by Minnie and Toad, but fine. It's fine. We know where to go. Okay, so we're back to the Tower of Owen. Petite Mage. So, magic. Toad. I mean, I'm not mad. I kind of like that we're using magic as, like, a uh, overworld function. So it's, that's kind of cool. That's, an, that's a neat change, I think. All right, we're frogs now. Let's get going. We walk. We don't even hop. We, like, walk on our... Oh. Never mind, we're not toads anymore. Well, the game automatically untoted me, so... <laughs> Welcome to the Tower of Owen. I hope you like it here, for it shall be your final resting place. This place looks familiar. Oh. Never mind. I guess it only untoted us for the sake of the cutscene. Imagine not having enough magic to untoad yourself, and you're just stuck as toad. Beep. <laughs> that was a big, uh, that's a big punch. <laughs> I guess that's what happens. Pugman? Do you say so? He's just gonna tell you this place looks familiar. Oh, here. Oh, that's a path. Oh, I didn't realize. 
I thought it was like a pillar or something. Hey, Barry. What's up? How was your weekend? <laughs> Wait, uh, I remember. I'm an ancient. <laughs> what a revelation. I don't even know how to read this word. Aghiski? Aghiski, I guess. No, I know. That's what stopped me from playing Seven originally. I've played like, um, like what, whatever, however, whatever you start at, wherever you started in seven, like that reactor or whatever. I did that and they dropped me in, what's it, Midgar? And then, like, 20 minutes into that, I was like, I don't know what is background and what is path. I'm not interested. I am unimmersed. <laughs> Goodbye. Your souls shall wander these sodden holes, halls forever. I remember now, there's a hidden switch on the fifth floor. It's on the eighth section of the wall from the left. What floor is this? Oh, we are on the fifth floor. Eighth section from the wall on the left. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Like, this? I don't know. Okay, fine. There we go. <laughs> I figured it out. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna be playing Seven yet. Like, one through six, like, these pixel remasters have got me covered, but once we get to Seven, I'm not sure. Um, I think Eight... And onward, there's like remasters on consoles. But I don't know about seven. I'm not sure what to do about seven. Unless there is just like seven on Steam as well, then I guess that's just as good. Mm. You'd think with the, uh, with the, uh, remake that's been out, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, that they would have, uh, also re-released Seven, like, original Seven, as a port in some way. Oh, it is on modern consoles now. Oh. Yeah, I'll need to, like, look into it and figure it out, but 7 is a long way from now. I'm actually not super looking forward to 7. Even though, like, you know, it's, like, the iconic game. Just because I'm more interested kind of in the Final Fantasies that are more fantasy, and 7 definitely has, like, that sci-fi vibe that's not usually my jam. Like, I'm excited about, like, learning about the characters more that, you know, I've seen all along, but don't really know a super lot about. But... The sky are sick. <laughs> That's where the charm is. Why would you dare touch that? A Salaman sword. Oh! Well, shoot, there was flame mail in the box. Oh well. Um. And it's a better sword. You know what I've noticed? There hasn't been side rooms yet in this game. Everything's been like straightforward.
Well, that looks like a boss to me. Let's give this a try. I, Medusa, will destroy this tower in the name of Zand. The continent will plummet from its skies, from its place in the skies. He he he. You will not interfere. Now die. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't have any buff spells, so we're just gonna just spam attack. Actually, no, we can go for another turn. Yeah, definitely our monk is doing the most damage right now. Alright, so I have no cause to be alarmed right now. Like, you know, got a lot of health, but... Nothing we're not able to out, uh, out heal from her damage, so it's whatever so far. There we go. I mean, why not? You, you'll just have to use, what, uh, mages for that mini part for the thing we did earlier? The flames lick and flare wildly, an explosion looks imminent. No! Don't go near it! I... I remember now! I'm the... one of the remaining ancients! The watchman of this tower! I was only supposed to awaken if something happened to the tower! But I was asleep for so long, my memories were scrambled when I woke up! I forgot my purpose. This doesn't look good. I think I know how to stabilize the flames, but I can only do it from inside the reactor. I have no choice. This tower is the only thing keeping the continent afloat. If it blows, we'll fall right out of the sky. This is farewell. Thanks for all your help. Dash, stop! You'll die! This is my destiny. Don't worry. Once I repair the furnace, that whirlpool should stop as well. Then you should search for the Dwarven Island. That's where you'll find the fire crystal. Once I'm in, I'll warp you all outside. It's been a blast. Literally. Now then, here I go! Dash! Rip. Well, we've, that's our first dead party member. Alright, this is Stereo. Well, he dead. Alright, cool. Alright, uh, moving on. We need to get to our boat and go to the Dwarven Island. I can do that. Do to four, they get more feels. You cried at four. Oh, look, touch those nightling. Hmm, that would have been fun. That could have been handy. Yeah, this monk does so much damage. It's like, do I just have like a bunch of monks? Like one white mage and a bunch of monks. Nice. Ow! Arthas! <laughs> he jumped down and it pulled the earbud right out of my ear. <sighs> Thank you for petting him. You know, he probably didn't deserve it that time, to be fair. <laughs> don't no, don't smack him. <laughs> Never smack the Arthas. Lally ho. Oh, it's like the dwarves from um from Final Fantasy One, huh? How could you get away? You gotta get in that. You gotta get that horn back from that thief. Hurry to the underground lake. Our treasured horn. Our horns are delicately carved out of ice, but that conniving thief stole one. The scoundrel. 
Lolly, no! <laughs> Lolly, no. The Horn of Ice was stolen. The horrible villain Gutsko took one of our Horns of Ice. He ran off to the subterranean lake, but dwarves don't float. How are we supposed to get our treasures back? Ow! That's what an invisible barrier looks like. Do you know where the village of... Okay, that's what they were saying. Guys... Saul? Guy Saul is? Well, I'll tell you, it's across the outer sea, far, far to the east. There used to be a shimmering glass tower up in the northern mountains, but after the earthquake, it disappeared. Now there's just a cave in its place. <laughs> yes, please don't ever sincerely hurt the Arthas. He is now eating carpet strain out of rebellion. All right, so we have more money than we did before. We've got... Okay, I might buy some of this. Um, let's see what is for sale over here. What can I do for you? Is it better stored? I wonder if he'd be better with a uh, on the staff as a second item. Okay, we'll buy him the sword since it seems to be better for him. I already had one. Whatever, it's fine, I guess. Oh, well, we can just do a wheel them then. You know what? Part of the plan. <laughs> you can have two of these, my friend. I guess the ice staff is, well, no, I, th I think it just replaced the other staff in her hand. Sankitsuken, we already have Sankitsuken anyway, but we are having him just punch things. So we're done with weapons. Uh, there is no spell shop here, which makes me wonder if I should have bought spells when I had the chance, but oh well, we'll get over it. Mage robe. Probably need one for you. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that looks a lot better. I think it's because it's better. It might be better than the mithril rod that she's holding. That might be why it's showing it as a green arrow. Because it would be an upgrade from that, potentially. That's my only guess. this. No. They made a big deal about mithril stuff last game, but uh, it seems to be pretty easily replaced. I think everyone's fairly decked out. I could buy her an ice one to- maybe I could buy her that ice staff, just replace the other one. The mithril one. But I feel like you can just find those. Like, that feels like something I should be able to find on the ground. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Alright, what about over here? You got anything? Nope, the phoenix downs are still like, expensive as shit. Party is well rested. All right, so I guess we'll keep exploring this dwarven place. The treasury. Can we just, uh, oh no, there's a rock in the way. The boulder blocks the way. I assume I cannot do anything about that. Because again, usually key, key items and other such things will activate on their own. So. 
Shall we dive under? How are we supposed to do that? Maybe we could become frogs. Okay. Well, we can go frog again. I'm happy I didn't, like, automatically just, like, get rid of Toad as soon as possible. Oh, the plot's down here. I guess that makes some sense. You know what? Before we do that... There's something I want to see. Because there was another cave entrance on this island. And I want to see... I want to make sure there's no, like valuable stuff in there before I start spelunking in two dungeons. Yeah, like, what's in here? Oh, Molten Cave! That I cannot go into because it is obstructed by fire. Why about this? Another joke about woods. Very strange considering where would I run with these guys? Unless they're impervious to fire. That doesn't seem likely. Or, no, I can't. I was like, can I run them into the boulder? But no. You know, I want to see. I'm curious. Giddy up, Chocobo. Oh, nope, I can't go in. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine, then. Be that way. What's the Bleff extension? I need to heal again to get those magics back. I don't have level two magic, I don't think, to be toad. To toad and then untoad. Don't ask how I am able- how we're gonna- Ooh, nope. We don't fight bombs if we don't have to. Bombs are dangerous. Golden Needle. Oh, hold on. Yeah, here's a path. We're ambushed. No! Please don't explode! You know what? I technically have one, but the problem is I can't get it loud enough. So I, um, un deactivated it. I think it's because literally all the sounds coming from my computer, other than my voice, is under one mixer. So the game has to be, you know, so I have... What it's at right now is the game volume, but that's sometimes why some of my alerts are quiet and everything else. I need something that would make them... That would put everything on a different audio track. Like the game on something, the alerts on something else. Am I heard this? But I don't have that, and I'm not quite sure how to get that. Perhaps I need a different Elgato, I don't know. I probably shouldn't keep running away from all the enemies. It's probably a bad idea. It's just I am afraid of the bombs. The desktop volume turned all the way up in OBS, then make the game, etc. change volume. And the Windows volume mixer. I'd have to tinker into that. 
Because right now I use OBS to essentially tinker with the game. Because not, because you know, a lot of games have like uh, something like you know, like this, like a volume slider. But there's a lot of games that don't, and you kind of, I guess, just out of luck in those other situations. Alright, let's see what this person's up to. Arg, stay back! Get away from the horn if you want to keep living! Yeah, we are flying through these dungeons because there's no side rooms to look into. Everything's just lying on the ground, which I'm fine with. Oh, shit! <laughs> that is, uh... <laughs> that magic does a lot of damage. But we also do a lot of damage, I think. I think with basically every hit doing 100 to 200 attack, I don't think this battle's gonna last for very long. Yeah, no. <laughs> We're done. Alright, good, good game, everybody. You died your first time? What was your um, party like? Obtained Horn of Ice. Neat. What the hell is following me? Hmm? I'm sorry, what are you? <laughs> and why are you following me? Get away from me! Oh, we didn't have to uh, tow to get back through here. That's nice. Maybe, you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if they did that just in case uh, you didn't have enough magic to come back and they didn't want you to be stuck, which is courteous. Out of my way, please. I wonder, would this thing take a nap with me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> this mysterious stick that's following me will indeed take a nap with me. The party is well rested. It's our horn! You're the best! Now put it back where it belongs, please. Hey, Don, I'll take down the ward. Ahoy! You can get through now, just leave the horn on the altar. Is this where the horn of ice goes? Yep, just put her down. Hi, a canoe. <laughs> ha ha ha, you fools didn't even notice me hiding in your shadows. Now both horns are mine for the taking. I mean, yes, I knew that you were there. There was a line following me. Oh well. Feels bad, man. With both horns of ice in my possession, I can extinguish any flame. The tunnel to crystal poses no obstacle to me now. The power of the fire crystals will belong to me. Guts go the great. It's mine, all mine. Well, that's unfortunate. I bet that lowlife is headed for the mountains to the north. Please, you gotta get those horns back. All right, my guy, I'm on it. Well, Gutsko was pretty easy, so hopefully he'll be easy the second time, too. Actually, let me, uh, save. Just in case.